On this episode of Sports Science, who are the highest flyers in sports? Next up, the flight of the wide receiver. The quarterback's job is to hit the wide receiver. But when there's a mob of angry men trying to crush him, he needs as big a target downfield as possible. The biggest land mammal on the planet is an African elephant. Seems like that would be pretty easy to hit, right? So here's the question. What's a bigger target? An elite wide receiver or an elephant? In our quest to find the highest flyer in sports, it's time to look at the range of the wide receiver. For the lowdown on wideouts, we brought in NFL All-Pro superstar Chad Johnson, AKA Ocho Cinco. Great hands, speed, I can catch anything. When I do catch the ball, it's showtime. When Chad goes vertical with full extension, he can really climb the ladder. Wow, you got the top, you got past the top. He jumped to almost 11 feet, that's high. Our scientific analysis, that's up there. On par with the greatest jumpers in the NBA and the stunning leaps of Skywalker. So let's see how those hands and legs take to the air and create a phenomenal target for a quarterback. So you're known for your vertical leap and your incredible catches. What we want to know is how great of a range do you actually have? I'm ready. Let's do this. Ready? Go! For the first time ever, Ocho's incredible range is captured with our Phantom high-speed camera. It works. It works. I like how they slow it down, man. That is so sweet. Standing six feet one inch, a static Chad offers a limited target, roughly 12 square feet. However, when Chad gets his hands up 11 feet in the air, that target expands to 22 square feet. Now, add his range to the left, right, up high, and down low, and Chad's potential target size balloons to 190 square feet. That's a huge target for a quarterback. So how does it compare to an elephant? The average male African savanna measures roughly 10 feet to the top of the shoulder with a length of 19 feet. That's about 190 square feet of target the same target area Chad creates. But this is only considering two dimensions, height and length, the X and Y axis. How does the equation change when we examine three dimensions? By adding his forward and backward mobility, the Z axis, Chad's range blows the elephant away. Look at it this way. If a quarterback had to choose between an elephant going across the middle or Chad, he should aim for Ocho, because Chad's total reach covers an astonishing 2,786 cubic feet. The best part of the experiment? We didn't have to clean up after Ocho. Chad's range was calculated by measuring his vertical leap to the tips of his fingers. But Chad and other great wide receivers frequently catch the ball with the palms. It's kind of like you're a Venus flytrap. And you know it's there. And when you get it, you grab on. So the question is, can a wide receiver's range extend to the tips of their fingers? To find out, we called up the greatest wide receiver of all time, Jerry Rice. The man knows how to catch a football. In fact, his receptions total an NFL record 22,895 yards. That's 13 miles. 
There's that myth out there that I learned how to catch footballs from catching bricks. Football is totally opposite. You have to be able to give with the football and let the ball come into your body. Our scientists wire up Jerry with cutting-edge tactile sensors to measure the pressure points on the softest hands in the game. We'll see if his range really extends all the way to the tips of his fingers. Have you ever had sensors hooked up on your hand where you No, I have them? never had sensors mm -hmm. or anything like this, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm curious about this, you know, what the result's going to be. Well, this will tell us what having soft hands really scientifically looks like. Okay, all right. All right. Don't put me to the test. The data from the sensor shows that during the split second of a catch, virtually all the pressure is on Jerry's fingertips. The ball barely makes contact with Jerry's palms at all. The palm stays right at zero, and the palm never makes contact with the football. You never want the ball to hit you in the palm of the hand, because if it hits you in the palm of the hand, you're going to have that ricochet. If you give me the football, you notice it's just like this. And it's not in the palm. Not in the palm at all. Science, it validates uh, my instincts. By catching the ball in his fingertips, a receiver extends his range by six inches. That doesn't sound like much, but that increases the quarterback's target by 100 cubic feet. That's about the size of the sofa you're sitting on. To really put a wide receiver's range in perspective, think about this. These guys could stand in the middle of a two-car garage and get to any ball thrown inside. And a helmet might just blast up through the drywall into the living room. Now that's range. With that kind of moving bullseye, how do the quarterbacks miss? Yeah, uh, might be the angry mob. But that's another episode. Coming up on Sports Science, our look at human flight continues as we torture a soccer player in the name of science. And we'll show you a mind-blowing new sport that is either utterly amazing or incredibly crazy. You decide. We're going to go with crazy. And later, we'll answer the ultimate question, who are the highest flyers in sports? It's coming up on Sports Science, Human Flight.